Hello everybody, Omega here. Long time no see. How's it going, people? Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Minecraft 1.8 server using Spigot. Spigot is also basically an equivalent to Bucket, so don't worry, all plugins are compatible with Spigot. That are Bucket compatible. Um, just give this video a nice like and uh, subscribe if you like the video and if it helps you out, it'll help me out. Thank you. And uh, so let's get started. First thing you're going to need to do is make a folder on your desktop. Call it whatever you want. I just called it server. Next thing you're going to want to do is go to this link right here. All the links are in the description. And then just click this link right up up top. Once you have clicked that, it'll download somewhere to your desktop. And once you have it downloaded, just drag it into this folder. Don't mind all this other stuff, just, just follow with me closely and you won't get lost. Whatever the thing that you just downloaded, it's called like spigot with a whole bunch of numbers and blah 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 stuff behind it. You're going to want to rename all of that. Just change the name of that file so it just looks like that. It should just say spigot. Just like that, okay? Then you're going to want to create a new folder inside this folder. So just right click in here and go to new and then you just, oh, and I, mean, I didn't mean to say make a new folder. I meant to say make a new text document. So just click that. Create a new text document like so. And you're not really going to need it forever, so you don't have to name it or anything. Just open it up with Notepad++ or whatever you like. And go ahead and paste this code in to this text document, just like that. Okay, so make sure you have it pasted just like that. And then when you go and save it, click Save As. Make sure this is set to All Types. And then you can call this whatever you want, like start dot bat or whatever. Just whatever you call it, just make sure you add the dot bat at the end, otherwise it will not work. And then once you save that, you will see a new file in your folder. And it's going to look like this. It will say, well, I called mine start, like I said. And then once you see that, what you're going to want to do is just click the, click this icon, and it'll start up the server. You'll get a whole bunch of errors all over here, basically saying there's nothing, blah, 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 null, blah, blah, blah. It's just generating the worlds, etc. And then once that runs for the first time, you're going to want to close this out. And make sure you click on the EULA and set the EULA from false to true. Otherwise, you will not be able to start your server. So make sure you change that and you save the changes. Okay, so before we start the server up again, we're going to do some port forwarding really quick. So if you're on Windows 7 or 8, go to Run. And then type in CMD, brings up a black prompt like so. And then you just type in IP config, and it gives you a bunch of random numbers, etc. The primary information you're looking for is the IPv4 address and the default gateway. Write those two numbers down, or memorize them, whichever you prefer. And then you close this out. And then you're going to want to open up your internet browser and type in the default gateway into your web browser, like so. And log into your router. And when you're logged in, you're going to want to look for advanced virtual servers, um, uh, something along that line, port forwarding, port triggering, etc. It's called different things on different routers. No router is really the same, unless you have the exact same router as me. Um, and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create a new role, basically. So you're going to want to create a new um, 
port exception. And what you're going to want to do is port for TCP and UDP. And then for the server IP address, you just put in the IPv4, like so. And then for the server ports, end ports, and start ports, Minecraft uses 25565, as we all mostly know by now. And then just save the changes, and you may or may not have to restart your router. It just depends on the router. And that's basically it. You port forwarded, and good job. Next thing you want to do is go to IP Chicken, so Google IP Chicken, and it will give you your IP address that you will want, and stuff, and that's the IP that you're going to give to people so they can connect to your server, etc, etc. Now we're going to start up the server. I'm going to start up Minecraft, and as you can see it is on 1.8. And to connect to your server, you're going to want to type in your, either your, def, your IPv4 or local host. So just connect to that. And boom, you're in. You are in the server, your server. And you can add plugins to your server. And that's a 1.8 server. And that's basically it, you guys. Hopefully this has helped you out, like I said thumbs up if it did it'll be helpful to me and thanks for watching the video and one last thing if you guys don't want to host the server we can host it for you over at gizmo servers no problem um, promo code will be in the description if you're interested and if you're not no problem there either um, and if you want to come check out my server you can come check it out the uh, IP is in the description thanks for watching you guys and Peace.